Hello, in this tutorial we will be making a laser cut map of Vancouver with the streets uh, engraved into the map, all using open data from Vancouver's open data catalog. To do this, we're going to download Tile Mill, which is a tool for taking open ma map data and ma styling it on a on a map. You can download it here. I've already downloaded it and installed it. Let's start it up. We're going to create a new project. Call it Vancouver April. Okay, add. We're going to uh, look at the map. By default, we're going to get the country map shape map data. But this map data is not the most accurate map data, and it's very detailed shy. So here's Vancouver. You can see that it's missing a bunch of the finer details. We're going to go to the Vancouver map, Vancouver open data catalog, and download the shape data for the streets and for the shoreline. Let's get the shoreline first. Shoreline. So we can download the shape file and the public streets. Public streets shape file. Extract these two archives to a directory, like this one right here. And you'll see all the shape files, the uh, shape files, the project files, the database files, etc. Okay. Now we're going to go back into Tile Map, Tile Mill, and add new layers for the data that we have, for the shape data that we just downloaded. Add layers. Browse. Find your shape data. Tile mill. So we're going to first do shoreline. Then save. So now you can see that Vancouver now has a much more accurate shoreline. See little. You can see some of the details like Granville Island and False Creek and uh, the convention center, etc. Stanley Park. Now we're going to add in the streets. Public streets. Done. Save and style. So in this case you can see all the public streets in Vancouver. We're going to add in some of the non-city streets as well. This will be like uh, the streets inside of Stanley Park, etc. Let's go non city streets. Save and style. So let's add some streets up here and some inside the uh, endowment lands. Okay. Next, we're going to style the map uh, to make it easier for export. First thing we're going to do is get rid of this country map around the outside. By doing that, you, do, you click the uh, little icon next to the country. Click Save, and you see that it's removed the countries around there. Next, we're going to change the color of some of these things to make it easier to see. We're going to change the background of the map to white. We're going to change the uh, shoreline to green. We're going to change the streets to red. And save. And now you can see the map. Excellent. If you zoom in, you can see some of the details of the map. So Granville Island, Main Street, Canby Street Bridge, etc. Okay. So now we're going to export this map to a SVG file. SVG files are scalable vector graphics. Let's go say export as SVG. And we're going to zoom in to our map. Okay. Now, when we want to export this, we only want to export the information that we need. So we're going to hold down Shift and create a boundary around the uh, map. Okay, we want to make that map pretty tight. There we go. Change the size to 1000. We'll just make it easier to work with later on. And click export. Now we're going to view our exported map, our exported files. View exports. 
We're going to find the one we just made, which is Vancouver April. This one here. And we're going to save it. This will save it to my documents directory. Okay. So we have this new SVG file in my documents directory. It's quite large. We're going to open up this SVG file and clean it up inside of Inkscape. Inkscape is a scalable vector graphic uh, editor or a vector editor. File, open, find the SVG file, click open. This may take a second because it's a rather large file. Okay. So now we're going to zoom in. Oh, sorry. By default, the coastal map data runs around the outside of the entire Vancouver, but is missing in the very end. If we don't have this, it's going to, uh, we won't make a, a single piece, we'll make a cutout in a piece. So we want to encircle the entire map with the cutout data. So we're going to scroll down here to the very edge of the coastal map, find the last, uh, select the path editor, find the last dot in this in this matrix, in this line. Let's pull it out and we'll we'll match it up with the other line on the other side of the map. It doesn't have to be perfect as the laser will cut a little bit over top of it and then it will make a difference. Next, you can see this map has a lot of little dots all over on the uh, coastline. The reason why this is, is the coastline is actually quite ac coastline data is actually quite accurate. But that'll take a lot longer for our laser cutter to go through. So we're going to simplify this line by going to Path, Simplify. So now, the coastal line data is a lot simpler, a lot less dots in it. Um, uh, we won't notice the difference when we actually cut it, and uh, the reduce the reduce complexity will only make this faster. Okay, so now we're going to save this file as a DFX file. So file save as DFX desktop cutting plotter. What that is is a instructions for our laser on which path to take with the laser well the laser is running over top of it. It can be imported to most laser cutting software. Look save. Click OK. So now if we look inside of our My Documents directory. It may take a second to load because the file is quite large. we'll get a DFX file. This DFX file can then be imported into our laser cutter software and used to cut. We'll want the green lines to be uh, cut all the way through and the red lines to be engraved or uh, slightly scarred. Okay. Uh, I don't have the... Oh, sorry. We'll show you the laser cutter software on EasyScape in another video. Thank you.